Well, hello, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, and it truly is my pleasure to be here with you. And I am so glad that you found this channel. Do me a favor and make sure you share it with someone else because affirmations are so important. And we have been doing affirmations this year, but knowing the word, hearing the word, ingesting the word, walking out the word is also important as well. So let's go ahead and bow today as we jump into our wanting these blessings that God has planned for us this year. Let's bow. Most gracious and heavenly Father, God, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. You have already told us that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies, God, and we we want to tap into that. We want to see the blessings manifest. And so we are coming before you asking, because you said if we have not because we ask not. We're asking, we're seeking, we're knocking at the door. We're affirming the fact, decreeing what your promises are, standing on them and walking them out. Father, we just are so grateful to have a relationship with you. And so whatever is blocking our blessings, we want those removed. So today we come asking again. We come declaring again. We come to be transformed so that everything that you have for us, we will receive. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Amen. Well, yes, today we're talking about the blessings. Who doesn't want the blessings from 2024? We want more. Every year we can add something to it. We can have words for the year, words of expectation, upgrade, all of those things, multiply. I want quantum leaps. All of that is important. All of that we want to declare. But our number one goal is we want to unlock the blessings for this year. So today we're going to do affirmations for abundance. We don't want to have a limited mindset. We don't want to have a scarcity mindset. We want to have a growth mindset. We want to have an abundance mindset. There is so much available for each and every one of us. We just got to go and get it. How are we going to go and get it? We're going to do it the easy way. We're not going to go grab for it. We're going to believe for it. So let's jump right in and do those affirmations. So our abundance increases and we see every single blessing come our way. Affirmations for abundance. All blessings God has for me are unlocked. I am blessed with all spiritual blessings. I hear from heaven in visions and dreams. I am divinely directed by promptings and agitations. I am divinely aligned in relationships and doors open for me miraculously. All the promises of God are yes and amen, and I receive them. My journey is divinely orchestrated and I prosper. My mind is regulated and I am blessed with wisdom from on high. I am blessed when I come in and blessed when I go out. My business is blessed and referrals and strategic partnerships are the norm. For every challenge I face, I have solutions quickly and my decisions are blessed. The keys to effective marketing are in my hand and I unlock blessings. The keys to effective communication are in my mouth and I unlock blessings. The keys to success in my finances, relationships, and personal development are in my heart and I unlock blessings. Every time I turn around, God keeps blessing me. I am a blessing to others and I am blessed in return. I am blessed by association with the living God and I walk in abundance and favor. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians chapter number one, verse three. 
James chapter number one, verse five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew, the seventh chapter and the seventh verse. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Matthew, the seventh chapter and the eighth verse. Revelation chapter number three, verse eight. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. 2 Corinthians, the first chapter and the 20th verse. For all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God by us. Psalm 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. With him is wisdom and strength he hath counsel and understanding. Job, the 12th chapter and the 13th verse. The 37th Psalm, verse 30. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom and his tongue talketh of judgment. My mouth shall speak of wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. The 49th Psalm, verse 3. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. The 111th Psalm, verse 10. When wisdom entereth into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Proverbs 2 and 10. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Proverbs, the fourth chapter and the fifth verse. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs, the fourth chapter and the seventh verse. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Proverbs, the 10th chapter and the 13th verse. Proverbs, the 16th chapter and the 16th verse. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather than be chosen to be chosen than silver? Proverbs, the 19th chapter and the 11th verse. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 6th verse. Genesis, the 12th chapter and the third verse. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Well, welcome back. How is that for affirmations? Now, again, affirmations are to be repeated. Let's just don't jump from one to the other. But what I am sensing in many instances, when we talk about abundance, normally we stay on just the financial side. The abundance does include a good journey. It includes peace. It includes so much more. And But most of you and many of you that are watching, you might feel like, hey, well, I'm good on the peace side. I put my boundaries in place and I don't have to worry about that. I'm good on the good journey side. I'm making great decisions, I think, along the way. Those parts are, are pretty good. But there's one area 
that I'm needing additional assistance with, one area that I'm struggling with, and that area is in the area of finance. Well, God does say a lot about finances in, in his word, and I've written several books on finances, but what I'm thinking for most is that it's the struggle with money management. If I can get my finances together, if this issue, if I can get my finances together, if I can get the what's coming in and what's going out to match up, if I can start with my savings, if I can create an emergency fund, I mean, I can get to the investing side, but I just need peace of mind at night. I don't want to be up. I don't want to be robbing Peter to pay Paul. I don't want to pay all of this interest. I don't want to have all this debt. If that's you and you need some additional assistance with the money management side of the house. I want to offer you something today, and that is I have a financial bundle that includes all of my online courses that I put together. You can do it as a subscription base. You can stay in it as long as you want. I offer you the opportunity to jump in one of those courses um, or the bundle. Either one is going to work, but I'm going to just suggest the bundle for right now. Here's where you go. You go to shantahaines.com forward slash courses. It's going to be the one in the top right corner. Just click on that button. You'll get access to all three of the programs for a nominal fee. The goal is for you to no longer financially struggle. Now, if you want to look at some of the other programs, the Breaking Up With Broke, because you definitely got to do that. If you want to look at the Biblical Financial Personalities Masterclass, knowing who you are and how you deal with money in order for you then to not struggle with money management. Yep, you can buy that. If you want the financial wisdom for financial freedom, it's going to give you all the practical applications and walk you through with the homework and everything from banking all the way to the net worth. You can buy those separately. But if you are struggling right now, my suggestion is that you get into the financial bundle program. Okay, that's a subscription program. You can stay in as long as you want. You can stay in as little. Go gobble it up. I'd love to see you there. Again, it's shantahaines.com forward slash courses, and you will be able to see that. All right. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart Heart Truth Ministries. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day because I'm helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. God bless.